Hi, my name is David Dahan. I'm Worldwide Managing Director with Ogilvy, leading the Unilever business. And I'm really excited today and I would like to thank Exchange for Media to be talking to you about how do brands inject creativity into digital. I wish I could be with you today, but unfortunately I couldn't make it to India. I had to stay in Singapore where I am based. But nonetheless, I'm sure that you must be having a wonderful time. So let's talk about, let's dive in and let's talk about how brands inject creativity into digital. First, the real question that is important to ask ourselves is why do uh, brands in want, would want to inject creativity into digital? Right. Well, the first thing is because it's become really, really complex. If you look at what digital marketing has become, it constantly interacts with different forms of technology, different forms of channels, and this complexity has turned digital marketing more and more um, difficult to handle for marketeers, and, and therefore creativity has become uh, 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 quite necessary. If you look at the evolution of uh, a digital, I mean, the reality about digital is that it's not just so much about digital, but it's really how the evolution of technology has happened. And through that, the evolution of the web is actually really interesting because you can see that the web has moved from being pretty much information-based, right, where you could draw information to be much more collaborative and, 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 and it's not just information, but actually you can become, it, it had become interactive over the years, to now it has reached a new level where under the development, the perfection of the technology, uh, the reality is that now we're going into a much kind of safer version, we hope to be, which is Web3, which is much more user-centric and less information-centric. So if you look at the evolution, in reality, when we talk about digital, often what we should talk about is technology. Because the reality is that it's the evolution of technology that has kind of given us the context of how to market brands and products in the new world that we are living in right now. And actually, if you look and zoom in into uh, Web3, three, Web three, what you realize is that really what is interesting is that the management of data has changed, the currency has changed, the, the, the products themselves, if you look at the NFTs and the applications of the NFTs uh, has, has evolved. And the, 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 what is really, really interesting is that the reality of the, the, this change has made it that actually now we are going towards a world that is kind of a thriving towards more and more ownership of what is happening in what we used to call and what we still call somehow the digital world. Right? But you can see the level of complexity that marketeers kind of have to grasp. And then when, as if it was not enough now, we are creating a new world. So the, the, the culmination of all this is actually the metaverse, where NFTs, blockchain, uh, cryptocurrencies are all interacting to create a world that is not only more kind of a safer and, and, and where there is more ownership of what is happening, of your data, of your moves, of your products, of your identity, but also where actually the possibilities are becoming increasingly limitless versus the reality that we are used to. So it's, it's really interesting to, 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 to evolve, but look at the speed. It took 30 years to get us to where we are. And no wonder that actually the marketeers' heads are exploding. Because look at the level of complexity that is happening. So when you bring it down to campaigns, how to communicate, how to interact with consumers that are actually evolving more and more into this world, it's not really complexity to them because it's increasingly their world, especially the younger generation, but not only and not exclusively the younger generation. Right? 
then the complexity is absolutely tremendous. And that's where creativity must come to the rescue. Because that's what creativity can resolve. It can take a very, very complex environment and find a way to make it simpler, to make it much more approachable, much more exciting, and most importantly, much more understandable to the consumers, the people at large, right? but also to the marketeers and therefore the brands that they represent. Right? And I'll give you a few examples of what creativity can do. Right? Uh, examples of brands that we are working at Ogilvy and that we have contributed to absolutely transform in the context of technology, in the context of this digital world where actually digital and, and virtual reality is kind of emerging more and more with the reality itself. Right? Um, this is the kind of things that you can achieve. So, for example, you can transform a Chinese technology company like Huawei to a global brand that is now valued at $20 billion. You can also take Cadbury and, in India, make it synonymous to chocolate, holding 66% share of the market. Right? In the case of Coca-Cola, you can reach 1.1 billion consumers during Chinese New Year, grow Coke's share in China, by 9% year on year. Right? Or in the case of uh, Shibuya, right, the, the, you can transform a city into the metaverse and engage with 560,000 people in new modern ways. And finally, you can also build uh, uh, Dell's entire data engine and generate 5,000 years, 5,000 leads uh, 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 per quarter across Asia. For Dell. So this is, this is the kind of a possibility that suddenly when creativity comes to the rescue and leverage the power of technology through the digital channels, right, you can suddenly, and not only the digital channels by the way, but leveraging the technology that is available, you can actually create something, the results that are absolutely uh, astonishing. Now the question was, how? How? Do brands do those kind of things? Where well, there are two things that I think uh, we can, I can think of that would be useful, right? The first one is use creativity plus technology for justice. Justice is a very, very, very important word. Every time that we think of purpose, every time that we think of serving consumer needs, more often than not, in this new world, what we're talking about is justice. And I want to show you two case studies to show you the power of justice. In 2021, Covid's second wave that hit India entirely dampened the spirit of Diwali celebrations. Big businesses online came back stronger in the new normal, but countless small traders continued to struggle with limited resources and digital know-how. During a gifting season, that is critical to their business. We wanted to lend a helping hand to the local stores at a time they needed it the most. Presenting not just a Cadbury ad. This year we used our platforms and media investments to help thousands of small businesses by making India's biggest brand ambassador their brand ambassador. This Diwali, you have to wear your past fashion of emporium and then Empire Footwear. Your name is Sunao. Your stylish chashma is the only way to take heaven eye operation. You can use the latest smartphone to buy the latest smartphone. What are you doing? Do you want to eat or not? Do you want to eat or not? Do you want to eat or not? You can eat your own roshan. You can also eat your own meat from there. We used machine learning to recreate Shah Rukh Khan's face and voice to take the local store names in the ads. Is Diwali up in the Baswali choice of fashion say he? Baswali Archkal fashion say he? Royal fashion say he? NK clothes say he? Baswali Lakshmi collection say he? Is Diwali up? 
different versions of the same ad were targeted as per the geolocation, showing them only the nearby stores, making it highly relevant to the person viewing it. But it was impossible to cover every single store. So we gave power to the people and the local store owners to create their own version of not just a Cadbury ad. Any small business owner could promote their stores through WhatsApp forwards and other social media pages. We nudged the consumer at several key digital touch points, urging them to shop local and support small retailers. This campaign hence went on to show that when people come together for each other, celebrations become sweeter. So you can see here in this example, justice for the small business owners that do not have access. And this is what it says about Cadbury, and this is what it says about the platform that they're trying to own as a brand, which is generosity. Right? I'd like to share with you another example. Uh, this Cadbury work has been highly awarded in Cannes and many other award shows, just to show you that great work actually not only works, but also gets recognized. I'd like to share with you another example that won two Grand Prix in Cannes last year, and, and, and that is actually also pretty phenomenal work when you think of justice. A birth certificate. Everyone has one, right? Wrong. For the 60 million unregistered children in Pakistan, it means a lifetime without access to medical care, social security, public schooling, or protection from underage marriage and child labor. The problem of low birth registration rates is due to social and economic factors. In many areas, it's nearly impossible, especially for children born at home, in remote locations, or in displacement. To improve access, we teamed up with Telenor, Pakistan's second largest mobile network, and launched the Digital Birth Registration Initiative. The simple SMS-based application receives and reports birth counts by authorized community leaders, health workers, teachers, education and medical staff. In addition, a few basic pieces of information like identity of parents, address and phone number being documented. The income and birth counts and data are then cross-referenced with local government official databases which creates a legal path to a birth certificate. Making over one million children visible across 36 districts in Pakistan, providing them the most basic of human rights. A future. So that's two examples of using creativity and technology for justice. Now the second way to go about it, if uh, you want to actually um, make the most out of what the, the initial question was of digital channel and using creativity and the power of creativity leverage by technology, right? is to use creativity plus technology for fun. Right? And I would like to share two examples with you uh, 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 to show you how you can have fun. Mom to the seaside. And where they could 
play all day, every day. <laughs> Great work from China. And this is just to show that fun they, doesn't mean not answering consumer needs and doesn't mean frivolous. It just means on point. But the point is actually creating something that people are going to enjoy. Right? And last but not least, I wanted to share another piece of work that has been awarded in Cannes that, again, is in the US. So it brings the humor to another level. But this is really powerful creativity, married with technology. Nine years ago, we took away lime skittles and replaced them with green apple. Turns out that was a terrible decision. In fact, 130,880 people complained online. And they've continued to complain for nine f***ing years. Now that lime was back, we needed to turn all that hate back into love again. But how? Good morning. In 2013, Skittles upset a lot of people by taking away lime. Skittles will now apologize to everyone who ever complained. We started by apologizing with a 35-minute live press conference on Twitch. At Cats and Chins writes, I want lime Skittles. Green Apple is garbage. We are sorry. At Matthew Calloway writes, Green Skittles are the physical manifestation of sadness. We are sorry. A record 136,000 people tuned in to watch us highlight and apologize to all that negativity. At me, 99999 writes, such trash. They taste of green apple and betrayal. Skittles suck now. The reason I have trust issues. I may as well have bought a vomit bag. Hashtag vomit at his clams. We are sorry. Skittles is sorry. 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 Are bad. Then we kept on apologizing on Twitter, in Times Square, and with a post apologizing to every single person we wronged that took 10 hours and 54 minutes to read. And not just an empty apology, we sent everyone free Skittles. People loved it. Mark the date. I received a public apology from Skittles. I appreciate you Skittles apologize, but I spent 44 minutes watching Skittles. Back in 2013. All that corporate remorse resulted in over 5 million viewing minutes on Twitch. Searches for Lime Skittles were up over 1,000%. Fast Company called it pretty close to a masterpiece, and sales of original packs rose 21%. Are there any questions? Okay. Apologize, the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. So, just to, to, to recap, how brands inject creativity into digital by leveraging technology and by using the power of creativity combined with technology either for justice or for fun. There are four things to look for when you, we are doing that kind of work and when brands are doing that kind of work. Is the idea emotional? Is it surprising? Is it smart? And is it easy to get? Because if you can do all of those things, there are higher chances that your work and that brand's work is going to be powerful. Right? And we, you know, at Ogilvy, what we believe is we want to inspire brands and people to impact the world. And actually, it's important, that notion of impact, because impact is really at the heart of what the ambition should be for what brands do in the world in general, in the digital world in particular. And technology is the best ally of uh, creativity. But without creativity, everything is flat. So I will leave you with one thought. Think about, you know, whenever 
We do the work whenever you review work, whenever you see work, whenever you make work. Would people out there do a hola when they see the work? If they do, and if you think that they will, it's very likely that you have ticked all the boxes that we discussed today and that you have touched an emotional string, either through justice or through fun. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the session and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye-bye.